the wonderful thing about Royal Air Force medals is that if you can get hold of the logbook, they come with a ready-made story. Now the logbook was issued to all air crew and what it does is it details every single flight from training to operations and everything that happened in between. And on occasion, the actual chaps themselves, they wrote in extra quotes and, and little, little extra bits about what happened on the actual raid itself. And that gives you a really good picture of what this person was doing. Now this chap here was called Warrant Officer Charles Erie. Now he was a, a navigator in a Mosquito. So it's a twin-engined aircraft, and he's in a squadron which is 540 PR squadron, and the PR stands for photo reconnaissance. So what they were doing was actually flying out to targets and taking photographs of the target before and after the attack. He won his DFC, uh, which is the Distinguished Flying Cross, uh, which when you think about it, is only uh, two awards away from the Victoria Cross. He was awarded his Distinguished Flying Cross for completing 62 operational flights, which is pretty good going really, because in Bomber Command it was 30 uh, tours, uh, trips for one tour, and then you were finished. Uh, you went off and did training and then you were invited back again. But he did 62 operational flights from, from go, so 62 in a row. He's awarded his Distinguished Flying Cross at the end of the tour. So we have all of his medals, and they're, they're still in the envelope that they came to him in. He didn't even really open the box. There they are, his 1939-45 star, his aircrew Europe, France and Germany class, defence in his war medal. Just as they came. And there his distinguished flying cross in the box of issue. Absolutely fantastic. Now as we said, it's all about the logbook. And this is the bit that gives you the story. And he has put in here obviously every single training flight that he did as he was learning to be a navigator but then every single operation that he did all numbered from 1 to 62 with all of the targets and his extra little notes photo taken at target from 10,000 feet but then just to add to that what we've got is this diary everything that he did from takeoff to landing for every single trip so not only have you got a written account, but you've also got the most incredible photographic account because he compiled this book. It gives you every single trip that he did from 1 to 62, the distance in miles, the total distance flown, the hours, the targets, what happened on the raid itself, and then every single target photo that he took from his aircraft for the entire 62 flights that he did. And there we are, and I stop here on D-Day, the artificial harbour of Allied shipping off the invasion coast, a photograph taken by him as they were beginning to build the Mulberry Harbour at Aramosh. It is absolutely incredible. Every minute that he flew, he has recorded, and in every single case, he's photographed. You can't get a better set of medals for the Royal Air Force for World War II than this. Everything from takeoff to landing.